So here we have an example of, um, you have to show that the number of partitions of a positive integer n, where no summand appears more than twice, equals the number of partitions where no summand is divisible by 3. So you can only have like uh, 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, um, sorry, no 6, um, 4, 5, 7, 8, and so on. So no number is divisible by 3, and this, uh, that will be equal to this, uh, the number of partitions where um, any number doesn't appear more than twice. So let's show this or prove this. All right. So let uh, let's see p of four or actually how many twice. So p of two. So p of two be the partition where no sum and appears more than twice and let p3 be the partition where no summand um, is divisible by 3 so is divisible by 3 alright so Let's first of first try to solve this this case here, where no summand appears more than twice. Where the generating function for that is going to be, you can either have none, or one one, or two ones, and not more. Or you can have uh, no twos, or one two, or two twos, or one three, or no threes, or one three or two threes and so on so if you want to write this in uh, generating functions you're gonna have um, so let's see 1 minus x on the bottom and 1 minus x cubed on top and if you don't know this um, I did a tutorial um, I think two or three tutorials back that explains how we get this um, I'll leave a, a link on the top so that will be multiplied by uh, 1 minus x to the 6th over 1 minus x squared times 1 minus x to the 9th over 1 minus x cubed. And that will go on forever. Notice that all the summands on top are going to cancel out with all um, the, with all the 3's. The, the multiples of 3 is at the bottom. So this generating function will give us 1 over 1 minus x times 1 over 1 minus x squared times 1 over 1 minus x to the fourth. Notice that the 3 got cancelled out. Times 1 over 1 minus x to the fifth times 1 over 1 minus x to the seventh. Because the six later on, this term here will cancel out with something down the road. Alright, so now we solve the part for A, where no, no um, summand is, appears more than twice. So let's do the case where no summand is divisible by 3. So you can have 1 plus x plus x squared plus x cubed plus x four, and this goes on forever, times 1 plus x squared plus x to the fourth. So these are the number of 2's and then you don't want any 3's so no 3's that will give you 1 plus x to the 4th and x to the 8th plus x to the 12th and so on then 1 plus x to the 5th x to the 10th plus and so on no 6's so you just go to the 7's and then so on and so forth so no, no, no summand is uh, divisible by 3 and the generating function for this is 1 over 1 minus x for the number of 1's and then times 1 over 1 minus x squared times 1 over 1 minus x to the 4th minus x to the 5th and so on and so forth so as long as you don't get any, any uh, sum and that's divisible by 3 you're good and notice that these two are the same now 
and that proves that the number of partitions for um, the summands that are divisible by 3, where no summand is divisible by 3, is the same as the partition where um, no summand appears more than twice. So this is, again, um, the yes-no thing I talked about a couple of videos ago. I'll keep a link in the, um, and I'll put a link up there as a reference of where I got um, all of this, like how I knew the limits and all that, where the stuff I used here. I hope this video made some sense. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave a comment or send me a message, and I'll see you in the next video.